What's up everyone? Welcome to the first actual tutorial of XHTML and today we're going to be learning how to add a title and some body text to our website. So before I begin I just wanted to show you some code. If you go to a website and click view source this is what a web browser actually sees as code and this is what we're going to be learning how to make today and what it all means so just X that out and all this code is made up in of a bunch of tiny pieces and these pieces are called tags and if you know what these tags mean and you know how to use them then you can better organize your website and better apply attributes to it so let's just go ahead and get started the first thing that we're going to need to do is include um, a little thing called a doc type and what this does is tell the web browser that we're not using HTML which is the old language they use to make websites that we're going to be using the new language and it's called XXHTML so if you went to my website if you're not already there just go to the new boston.com click on XHTML click on number two and then right here right below the video just highlight this right click it copy your text editor and paste it in and if you don't have a text editor yet then I would recommend you watch my first video and it tells you how to download one so the first piece we're gonna add to the website is called the HTML tag now all tags or pieces of the website have the exact same format a beginning tag and an end tag and anything in between this is affected by the tag so the first tag we're going to write like I said is called the HTML tag and what this tag does is tell the browser that we're going to be working on a website and view it as a website and not anything else like a text document or anything like that so you start out by putting the less than sign and typing HTML and this starts your website then press enter a few times and this is the beginning tag right here now we have to make the ending tag so the ending tag looks like this the same exact thing except less than sign slash HTML and then close it off so the only difference between the beginning and the end is this little slash right here then whatever your tag is, the tag name, it's the same for the beginning and the end. So our entire website is now going to go in between these two tags. Now, there's two major parts to our website. The first part's called the body, and the second part's called the head. Actually, the head goes first, but... And the head of the website is the part that you don't see and this includes things like the title and the keywords that the search engine looks for and all the stuff that the viewer doesn't see but the body includes all the stuff that he does see like the text and the images and colors and this is what we're going to be spending most of our time on but right now we're going to want to start with a head so to do this is the exact same format as the HTML click the less than sign type in head and click the greater than sign and then on the next line click the less than sign backslash and that ends it so this is the beginning and this is the end so now we have the head section of our website we have nothing in the head section so make a little line so you can have some space to put stuff in and the first thing that we're going to want to add to our head and the only thing right now is the title. So to do this it's the same format as before. Click the less than sign. Type in title. This is a sign for a title. Then you can write anything for a title. I'm going to write my title. And then to end it click the less than sign slash and title and make sure that this tag is enclosed in your head tag in your head tag is enclosed in your HTML tag you can't have one inside and one outside over here or anything 
So now we have a title to our website, but we don't have anything in the body. See, the title is going to show up right here, and it's going to be blank right here. So click down here, and to start with our body, we're going to open with a body tag. So this open with a body tag, and the end body tag, the less than sign, backslash, body and anything in your body is going to go in between here and note that I'm typing some tags on the same line such as the title and some on different lines such as the body it doesn't make any difference at all where you type it it's just so people can view it better as long as you're enclosed in the HTML tag in your reading just like a book left or right up down then you should be fine so in your body tag you can type whatever you want I'll type this is my body and now we have body text so now we have a title to our website and body text so let's go ahead and see what this looks like we're gonna wanna go file save as and we're gonna wanna save this as a HTML document we can't save it as anything else or the browser won't know what it's looking at so save it as anything HTML, click save, and then we're going to want run, launch in Internet Explorer, or you can launch it in Firefox if you want. We're going to go ahead and launch it, and as you can see, we have that title we typed in right up here, my title, and we have a body, this is my body right here. And as you can see, it's kind of plain right now, so in the next tutorial we're going to be learning how to change the color of the background and also change the color of the text and also learn to align the text and some headings and some other different stuff so that's in the next tutorial and as I said if you want to you can follow me at my site newboston.com and as you can see I have all the step-by-step -step tutorials to help you follow along better thanks